four steps to attracting what it is that you want. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, <laughs> Not Your Partner. Now, before we get to that, I wanted to cover, uh, and I'll take you through the four steps. I wanted to address a couple of questions that were asked around self-love, which is really what this is, Self-Love Monday. So for some of you, this is going to be a brief recap of things that I've already talked about. But I just felt it was important because it, the questions were there. Um, like one was just, what is self-love? And you guys know I share that love is accepting a person, place of things just the way it is. It doesn't have to change. I didn't say agree, but accept it as it is because we come from different backgrounds, different beliefs, that type of stuff. So being able to accept a person as they are. And, you know, and then if I don't agree with you, we'll, we'll have a conversation about that and see if we can come to an agreement and make the relationship work. So, but accepting you is a total different and it makes the communication a lot simpler because if I accept you as you are, then when I go to communicate with you, it's because I'm trying to understand you because I've already accepted you, so I'm not here to change you. And then um, someone even asked the question, why, what makes us believe we deserve uh, self-love? And that one just kind of took me back a little bit because I was like, where would you have to live to even question whether you deserve self-love? Because what's the option? And I look at it in terms of, it has to be a person that's usually, and I'm assuming in this particular case, and unfortunately in people's case where I hear something like this, is someone who's in a very abusive relationship. And their self-esteem is so low, and the person that's the abuser has spent time beating it out of them that they're worthy and that they're valuable and that they're enough, the things you know I keep sharing, and that nobody will ever love them and they're not lovable and they're not, wor again, worthy. And that's the, that's the control ne mechanism. That's the way to get them to believe you're the only person that really loves me and so I'm willing to put up with the stuff that you're putting out so I can be loved because I'm not lovable. And you guys know to me that's the worst place you could ever live and hopefully you do you you listen to the things that I'm sharing and teaching. And even if you go beyond me, I mean the key is get the help because you gotta love that person in the mirror. I just shared last week about the mirror exercise from Lisa Nichols where you sit in front of the mirror and you go, I you know, I am proud I'm proud use your name. Ron, I am proud of you for seven different endings. And then the second question, the second statement is going to be, Ron, um, I forgive you for and, and seven different endings. And then the third one is, Ron, I commit to you. And we do seven different endings. And do that for 30 days. You can do it for the rest of your life. But do that to build up that, that belief in yourself and know that you're valuable and you're worthy. And never, ever get to a point where you're even questioning whether you deserve self-love because as you guys know if I don't love me how can I love you I know we hear all the time people saying give what it is that you want but I can want a million dollars but I ain't got a million to give so how do I give what I what I don't have you guys follow I do understand that if you want more love, the more love you get, you will see it start to return back to you. That I get, but I also understand you do have to have it first before you can actually go out and, and, and give it and then get it back in return. So anyway, but I kind of wanted to cover that real quick. Um, we have to make that decision first, know that we're valuable, we're worthy, and then we'll get into the, the four steps in order to <laughs> to get what you want and hopefully self-love is at the top of that list. So the order is gonna be, one, you're gonna have thoughts, then you're gonna have uh, stories. Those stories are gonna create emotions and those emotions are going to create actions. So your thoughts are the things that are running in your mind, the voice, the things that are stored from the past, um, 
through personal experiences, family, friends, media, all that kind of stuff. That's all that stuff that keeps playing that you keep hearing going on all the time, that little voice. So those are the thoughts. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to write a story from those thoughts. You're going to take, you know, it's and, and I've used this before, the analogy, so you guys get it. it the analogy is uh, like the computer. The computer in the browser, you put a word like love, self-love. We put that in the browser. A bunch of topics are going to pop up. That's the thoughts. Depending on which ones we click will depend on which story is going to show up. That's the second step. Those stories, whatever which ones we click, are we're going to respond a certain way. Well, I should say it's going to create an emotion. It's going to create feelings based on that's why we have to be careful what we watch, especially before we go to bed, because you're going to wake up. If you're watching depressing stuff before you go to bed, you're going to wake up in the morning feeling bad and wonder why. Because the way you 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 clocked out wasn't good. You know, so it's good to have some laughter and, and that kind of stuff before you go to bed. Um, and then you'll wake up in a, in, a, in, a, in a good mood. And then again, you'll wonder why. You'll, you'll figure out why, but that's where it's coming from. It's because your brain, and, and I want you guys to understand, your brain is actually grabbing stuff and storing stuff even while you sleep. It's still working. And so be careful of the things that are going on around you, um, when, even when you're going to sleep. That's why I'm not a person who goes to sleep with the TV on. I don't want, I don't want, my, I don't want, I don't want my computer picking up that stuff. So then the third step is uh, we're going to feel emotions based on those stories, and then we're going to take actions accordingly. So if you understand that process, then whatever it is you want, you got to figure out where am I sitting right now. So if I'm angry, for example but it's not where I want to be. Therefore, I want to attract happiness. Then I have to change, okay? If we know that the, the feeling is actually the third step, then what is step number two? Because we're going backwards because we want to so, see how we got there. Because we know we got the thoughts, then we got the stories, then we got the feelings, then we got the actions. But I'm right now I'm thinking, my feelings is where I'm at, and I don't like that. That's step number three. So let's go backwards. We go to step number two, which is stories. So that means the stories is why I'm feeling this way. So let's attract the stories. And that's why you guys hear me all the time saying everything comes down to stories. If you don't get nothing else out of anything that I teach, understand stories is what it's all about. Change your stories. Change your life. Because those stories are dictating how you're feeling, which are dictating your actions. And so that's how you're going to attract the things that you want in your life, including people. Including, the you know, when, when, when you're talking about, um, again, you guys heard me say when ladies say, all guys are dogs. Well, those are your thoughts. Think about that. You're believing all guys are, are dogs. That's the thought process. Then we go to step two, what? You've written stories, because obviously, where did that come from? For those, you don't know, say, we know it came from the thoughts, but you put those together to justify that guys are dogs, which is gonna create an emotion, a feeling towards guys. So you already, from the moment you meet a guy, your emotions and your thoughts towards them are not good because of the stories, right? And so that's gonna create your action. And so you're gonna treat guys a certain way, and then wonder why you can't attract what you say you want, but you're attracting based on what you're putting out. Because a guy that is what you believe you really want, or you, you know what you really want, you can't attract them because of your thought process at this moment. Because like me, for example, if you're a lady that's talking about guys or dogs, I'm not giving you the time of day. Because I already know there's too much work involved. Because I have to spend time trying to reprogram you into believing all guys are not dogs. That means I have to pay the price for what other guys have done to get you all the way shifted. Now, don't get me wrong. With what I'm doing, you know, with, 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 with uh, everything I'm out here doing, sharing the videos and, and the, the seminars and the webinars and all the things that I'll be doing, and 
those are, I don't have a challenge and I enjoy this and love this to help people. I'm saying, but in my personal relationship, I don't want to come home to that. I don't want to, you know, be out here giving my all to everybody, all my energy and, and my love and stuff to get people on track. And then I got to come home where I should be able to come and relax. And I got to go through the same thing because my partner thinks that all guys are dogs. And so now I got to, which I'm going to have issues out there in the field because why? Anything I'm doing, she's questioning. What you doing now? When your event's over. Your event was over two hours ago. You said you're still there. Who was you with? And all that kind of, whoo, you guys see where, that's too much work. I'm not looking for that. So you got to be at a point where a person, you know, those stories, we got to get those together. If you want to track that guy that got his stuff together, you got to get your stuff. Again, that's why you guys keep hearing me say, get rid of your problems, not your partner. Clean you up first. And we do that by understanding the steps. One, we have thoughts, then we write stories. Those stories will create emotions. Those emotions will create actions. If we ever want to figure out how we got there, we just go in reverse. We go, why am I taking this action? Obviously, because that's number four. Why am I taking this actions? Because I'm feeling a certain way, which is, which is number three. And why am I feeling this way? Because of the stories that I wrote, which is number two. And we know where the stories came from. They came from the thoughts, which are based on, you know, um, things that we've experienced personally or what other people have told us. So once we understand that process, we get to control our emotions because a lot of people think they just happen. They don't. They come from stories. Now, you may respond a certain way now where certain things happen, you instantly get angry and you go, well, I didn't write no whole story. No, 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 no. You have a new habit that you've created where whenever you feel like, for example, because maybe you believe now you're lost control of this situation. You have taught yourself through habits because it's not a human thing because everybody doesn't respond that way. You've taught yourself whenever you feel like I'm in a situation where I don't have control of it, anger gives me strength. You guys follow that? But if you understand that, you just go, but I don't like the results. I don't like what's taking place. So let's go back and let's start this over then. Because we understand the thoughts that we have, you know, are creating, you know, stories and emotions and then actions. And we go back and say, I got to make the adjustments. Folks, that's really the key. And if you do that, you'll watch all the areas in your life, including your relationship, including the people that you're attracting. You'll see all of that change. And um, as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Get better at understanding those four steps. Use those to your advantage. We all do it in Anyway, it's just we're consciously now, because of this video, we're consciously recognizing it. And in the beginning, you're going to have to consciously do it and go, okay, stop. Let me pause. Remember we said that's the difference between human beings and animals is we have the ability to stop and pause. Animals live in a stimulus response world. Things happen. They react. We have the ability to pause, which means we get to think things through. So get better at pausing, stopping understanding those four steps and then go where am i at in the steps and where do i want to get to and then make the adjustments and you'll see every area in your life blossom and uh so but anyway for those of you who we talk on uh relationship thursday i look forward to seeing you on thursday and for those of you on self-love monday i look forward to talking to you again on monday but this four steps is very important to getting changing us and the way we see ourselves the way we see others and make all our relationships grow. And the most important one, as we know, is the one with the person in the mirror. So anyway, if you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. And I'll talk to you guys later. You take care and enjoy this journey. Bye-bye.